So Ambernic did it once again, haven't they? So they came up with a model called RG35XXH model. So I believe RG35XX model is one of the best selling classic arcade game console of all time. And I think they're trying to add a bit of a benefit on it. And especially what I can see is the joystick toggle that has been added on both ends as well. I personally like to argue that they only need one and especially for me it's because I struggled to set up initially uh, for playing MS-DOS. As you know if you're sort of my age MS-DOS uh, arcade game requires a mouse uh, sort of effect and that's something you've got to program and so on but they have added those so this is really good. Now I'm not really sure about the controller being on the uh, both ends some people like it. I don't really like it because it makes it long uh, Not really pocketable, but I think it's going to be the similar size of my smartphone and so on But enough said let's get into this unboxing to see whether this is going to outcast the original RG35XX shall we so Here it goes Main console you got wipes plastic cover as well instruction manual both English and Chinese Yep, standard USB-C. The sponge cover comes out. Wow, look at that. We got select and start on both end. Joystick up, down, left, right. Uh, X, Y, A, B as well. Joystick on the um, left and right as well. It's pretty compact and very comfortable indeed. We got L1, L2. There's no button on the back. It's just the soft cushioning, by the way. Headphone jack. This is for data transfer, I believe. The mini HDMI plug. This is for the power and also a data transfer. So I think you press this and you get menus popping in. R2 and R1. Then on the right hand side, we got the reset and the power. On the left hand side, we got the volume up and down. And on the bottom of it, we got the uh, default memory card. Uh, and gaming memory slot and you can actually extend that and you can see the vent which is pretty cool isn't it for this design so i don't know whether you can actually see from the back is actually 3300 milliamp hour which is pretty good with regards to the screen protecting cover it doesn't quite fit to the edge it's slightly offset and that kind of puts me off actually i don't know how many of you actually want to put this in i guess it's mainly because of the glass display the original display is slightly curved in the end right so the moment of truth let's actually turn it on ambernick bit of a time consuming there so for the main menu itself, we've got game rooms, RA game, favorites, history, search, and settings. So if you go to settings, we've got battery. So if you click on that, it says voltage of 4.01V. Not sure what that stands for. Lock screen, you can change for the timing. Backlight brightness, uh, four level, IO test. You can actually do that. To exit it, just press both of them. Uh, date and time language settings so these are the language settings you can change to retro art setting as well network settings icon settings these are the designs that you can change to okay just roughly background settings these are the main images that you can change to button sound as well you can actually change to on and off buttons custom as well uh, you can actually do joystick buttons and custom restoring joystick buttons and Defaults, killing record, firmware version, work light status during sleep, reboot, and shutdown. Okay, so if you go to the game rooms, we got a PSP game, PS1 game, vertical arcade, CPS1 game, CPS2 game, CPS3 game, Neo Geo game, FB Neo game, MAME, GBA, NES, Super NES, SMS, MD, GBC, GB. PCE, NGPC, uh, GG, WSC game. So if you go to PSP game, we got Bloons, uh, Bomberman, Castlevania X, God of War, uh, Grand Theft Auto, Mega Man, Mega Slug, XX, Pac-Man, Championship Edition, Ridge Racer, Tekken 6, Tekken 5. PS1 game, we got Alien Trilogy, Wow, there's quite a lot actually. Um, some of them I can't really pronounce, so I hope you guys just pause and actually go through this. So just so you know, uh, oh, Final Fantasy VII, this is USA version. 
Last time I actually played it, it was Chinese on my previous RG35XX. We got USA version. And I know many of you guys actually asked me that question whether it's Chinese or English. This time it's all English. This I actually bought it from the um, official Ambernic website. So we've got 156 of the Vertical Arcade uh, CPS1 game. So we got um, 30, uh, we got 36 of CPS2 games. CPS3 games, we got only five. Neo Geo games, we got 152 uh, FP Neo. We got 473 MAME. We got 493 main games. That's quite impressive, actually. For GBA games, we got 232 games. Uh, NES, we got um, 432 NES games. Uh, Super NES games, we got 429. Um, SMS games, we got 353. Wow, that's quite a lot, actually. For the MD games, we got 481. Uh, GBC, we got 375. GB games, we got uh, 403. PCE, we got um, 328. Uh, NGPC, we got 41. And uh, GG games, we got um, 328. And lastly, for uh, WSC games, we got 73 games. So I'm not sure about this RA game. So maybe it's like a different way of displaying it because if you click on it, it just shows the same order, doesn't it? In some way, we've got PS. Yeah, these are all just differently arranged and fancier, colorful way. So um, I'm sure it's just gonna be the same result if you actually click on each one of them. Ah, good old Final Fantasy VII. It kind of feels like this screen because this purple transparent case, it kind of sticks out. So that's how small it is. It's thicker though. Is it the same processor or not? I'm not sure. If you guys know, please let me know. Yeah, let's fight. I would like to see the fight scene because that's when normally it whether it slows down or not. So moment of truth, look at that. That's very good. No slowing down whatsoever. Well done. All right, so I'm trying to play Need for Speed game and it's really slow. Yeah, there you go. So clearly we're seeing a lot of lagging. Oh dear, this is painful. That's not a three. That's like 30. <laughs> Where's the two? I want the two. Okay. Yeah, I'm, it's not going. I'm sorry. I'm sure you guys could tell by a few seconds. Good old Tekken. Let's try it out, shall we? That's pretty good. So I don't know what happened on me for speed, by the way. There you go. So no problem for Tekken. Okay, so let's try King of Fighter 2003. Very good, impressive. There you go. This is why you need the joystick, yeah? Especially for King of Fighters. Come on, K, leave me alone. Yeah, but it's far better, isn't it? Because we got the joystick toggle. I just love it. This is a huge upgrade indeed. So well done for that, Ambernick. Sound quality, really good. Ah, this always happens. There, that's better. There you go. That's the spirit. Okay, so this is a bit of a bugger. The um, double dragon of the first one is slowing down with a lot of guys. That's not the biggest issue. Is that, you know, you got the punch and the kick. If you press it together, is the powerful elbow shot combination. But this is not available. So this is the punch and this is the kick. But if you press it together, it doesn't work. Okay, so this is Warrior of Faith, and this is the jump, and this is the hit. So if we press it together, ah, so that works. So that's really good. That's reassuring that it's only Double Dragon so far that I need to somehow do a configuration or someone could advise me, that'd be great. But so far, this one works, not the Double Dragon. All right, so here's an example, um, the Ikari Warriors. I used to love playing this game when I was a kid. So if you get on with it, 
this is the graphic result you get so it's broken down it's not working okay as you can see I'm trying to play this but that's the display you get but I'm not really too concerned about this really it's because you just need to get the right game because the emulator is all there I mean the whole point of having these sort of console is that it brings the programmer in you you can do whatever you want with these game console it becomes yours and that's probably why I love these sort of classic arcade games right so if you go to RA games and then choose the Game Boy Look at that that is really cool so the same sort of visual effect of the actual Game Boy look at that that actually does feel like playing the Game Boy <laughs> That effect is amazing. Well done for that. Wow, look at that. This is the, um, okay. That's really impressive because um, this is landscape and this is portrait. Okay, so the vertical games, you can actually control it same way as how you look at it. And it kind of feels like smartphone, but a much smaller screen. But you know the problem with these sort of games that are vertical um, is that, you know, it's, the proportion is not right. But Ambenic has done it. This is really good change. And now I can see the, uh, well, rather than change and upgrade, and I can now see why we got the controllers on both ends. It's really impressive, isn't it? Finally, I got a mini HDMI plug-in here that will be slotted into my RG35XXH unit and the other end will be a normal HDMI cable that will be plugged into my 55 inch TV. So let's see how it performs, shall we? This is basically being controlled uh, by my RG35XX console unit here. Um, but as a return, you don't actually get another display. It's not a duplicated display. All the display will be converted into your TV. Oh. Look at that, the graphic is a bit, bit dull. You can see those lines actually, HD version. Okay, that's better. But I just like those scale lines really. It's like playing PlayStation game without the console um, and using this as your controller. So really impressive. Ah, see, this is what I, was, I wanted to try. So for the vertical game, uh, the screen does not rotate. So that vertical game is specifically designed for only on your RG35XXH. I mean, it's doable, <laughs> but your neck's gonna hurt after an hour, I guess. So another brilliant upgrade by Ambernick for this RG35XX. Initially, I just didn't like the design of the control buttons to be on the left hand side and right hand side. I don't know what it is. It just made me feel cheap because there's so many um, game console that is designed this way, but it makes perfect sense because if you actually play vertical games, uh, it actually becomes all, all of a sudden half size and you can't really see what's going on um, for this size of screen. So they actually compensate that by making it vertical so you can see all those details through flipping it 90 degrees like a smartphone. So really, really well done for that. Even the controls itself automatically change as you flip it as well. Um, the joystick is a great add indeed because I, again, I can play all these PC related, all those classic arcade games that I really enjoy as well. So really, really well done for that Ambernix. So thank you very much for producing this really great thoughtful design called RG35XX. H. So I hope this video sort of clarify all the design and the use. Um, one thing again I have to point out is that um, Need for Speed, well, it's a very minor thing. I don't really like racing game that much personally, but if those who are a great fan of Need for Speed, um, it's going to really slow down. You can't play it. Um, so there are limits regards to the processors and so on, but it is very good still a game console indeed, the RG35. XSH. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. Any queries, please do comment below. Cheers. Bye-bye.